Welcome back guys to another episode of 7 Days to Die on my PS4. So we are busy today. We got a lot doing, uh, to do around home. Uh, we just went uh, from a roundabout out visiting the trader and doing stuff like that and doing some exploring. But now it's time to actually get some stuff done around home. So I figured our first task, since we only have a couple hours left that um, I could build outside without causing mayhem, I figured we'd go over here and start chopping through some of this. So if you guys missed this episode, we finally did actually collapse the um, entire funeral home thingy. But we ended up with these little suckers hanging out up here all by themselves. So I'm kind of wondering at the same time too. Oh, they're so hard to hit. There we go. One, two, and we'll do the last jump. Three, there we go. Okay, well, that's not so bad. I can get rid of these real easy. The other thing I need to get rid of here, and I actually brought my auger to do that. We'll reload that bugger up. Is I have to get rid of this old asphalt on top of this um, thing here and this furnace over here. We're actually going to save these furnaces. I have to come back here and do some repairs as well here too. Uh, but this will take me a minute, and this should actually kill off the day cycle. Oh, wait. I was wrong, guys. I'm actually not going to redo this one. That's right. I wanted to keep the pipes on top. Uh, I, can, I can put them back, but you know what? The original. Yeah, we're going to keep those pipes there. This one over here, I definitely have to go and tear that top part off of here. It looks like absolute garbage. Okay, there we go. So we got the top of that off. These things here, I can come back and do them. I just really don't feel like doing that right now. Uh, but the other thing I realized as well, too, is actually we are complete... Oh, shit. I was just about to say we are completely out of clay and I need to go and get myself some clay. But now it looks like we'll be dealing with zombie hordes because she did scream. So there goes the rest of our day. Oh, well, it is what it is. Come here, here little lady. Let me smash your head. Oh, that was her arm, not her head. My bad. Oh, there goes her other arm. What about your head now? <laughs> there we go. An armless, headless girl. I know there's a joke there somewhere. Uh, we got one coming over here. We got a nurse over there. I wonder where that nurse actually spawned. I wonder if she spawned in that POI. It almost looks like it. What about you, nurse? Tell me where you spawned. Nah, she ain't gonna say shit. Though, I do think we got rid of most of our zombies. Oh, we got two more here. Okay, I'm gonna kill these two, and we still have a little bit of time left over to grab some clay from our clay pit over here. What the fuck? There you go, stupid lady. Hey, there we go, guys. It's nighttime. Uh, didn't take very long. We got 3,200 clay. That'll be more than good enough for now. Um, we actually haven't had to get clay since I've got my auger um, because I haven't collected clay with auger, so I would assume that's my first time. Uh, but yeah, the auger is so much more efficient. Such a time saver. I'm loving this thing. Uh, it never used to be this good. I think they um, increased how much damage the auger does to blocks because, like, honestly, off the top of my head, I never remember it being that good. Um, so we should actually here while we have some time tonight go ahead and make some oh wait there's 3,000 clay in there ah whatever it is what it is uh, but I need to make some cobblestone so I'm gonna go ahead and get some cobblestone going on it should be right in the end of the list here here we go um, I'm only gonna make about 500 is too much. I'm only going to make about 300 just so we have some sticking around as well um, because we need to upgrade this place and every once in a while there is a broken block here too. So since um, that's being crafted, let's go grab... Uh, okay, yeah, we don't have our nail gun on us. Let's go ahead and grab up our nail gun here. Is there is there parts down here? Oh, there's parts down here. I actually didn't combine the whole nail gun last time. How did I miss that? Okay, what's the parts like in here? Oh, our parts are 178. Sick. Okay. So I'm going to take this thing apart and get it to back together. But as you can see, um, we've started to amass some um, cement again or some concrete. And our next project is actually upgrading the building to concrete itself. So as you can see, we've already started that. But we're going to be doing some more tonight since we have a whole bunch of that banked up now. All right, here we go. So we have uh, some more concrete mix on the way, but we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven thousand five hundred ninety-one concrete mix sitting here. So it's just burning a hole in my pocket. Now it's time to upgrade this building to its full majesty. I hope this corner here isn't just wood. Oh, it is too. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to. Up oh, okay. Let's grab some frames. It'll be cheaper to take the frames out than upgrade it all the way. Okay. Yep. 
Same thing again. I forgot we had to do this last time. These little wood corners, some of them can come out. Some of them have to be replaced by frames. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some frames here. And we're going to start upgrading that crap. All right. There we go. Perfect. I remember actually breaking through this part originally to make that, um, that elevator. I wonder if it's actually... Oh, no. Okay. I was going to take out the blocks for play. It just would take too long. I'd rather just spend the cement. Uh, but I remember breaking through here to actually put in this elevator all the way up to the top. And it, it took forever. It took forever to break through these walls. Now I have that auger. I just ripped through this stuff. Progression, guys, I think is the best part of this game. It, may, it really makes things worth it. Oh, shit. Oh, well, oh wait. Never mind. This whole building's going to be upgraded anyways. It doesn't matter if I upgrade these things. There we go. Perfect. So I got to do this wall next. And I probably actually should do the block above me here as well, too. And you know what? Screw this asphalt. This asphalt, it's getting upgraded. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Bam, bam. And we only have a few more to go. My favorite... I love this nail gun, guys. I don't know. That's satisfying. I don't know if you guys have ever used a nail gun. But for some reason, with a nail gun, there is no more satisfying feeling than feeling it go thump. Just like that. When you go thump. Oh, I love it. It's just... It's a feeling of progression. And the feeling that you're actually getting something done and put together, right? Pretty freaking awesome. Oh, look at that. This is great. I love it. Okay, I got to upgrade this ceiling here and the wall along this way. I'm going to upgrade this shit here. All right, look at that. We got the whole wall done. And I came across here and I forgot this little safe was on this back wall. Because I was like, you know what? Why take the safe out? That looks pretty damn cool. So we're going to try a trick here. It is day 83. I'll probably forget about this. But by day 94, this should be lootable again if I take that out. So uh, we're going to go ahead and wait and see if that actually reloots. I um, I can't say I'm going to remember that, guys, but the intention is there. I'll probably actually come back to it and be like, oh, yeah, that's right. I put the frame in here 80 episodes ago. I forgot about that. Let's check that out. All right. Time to get this done. I managed to get this whole back wall done here and we still have one, two, three and a half thousand concrete mix, which means we should probably actually be able to do this side here all the way to the end and just have a little bit left. That's just a guesstimation, 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 guesstimize. I'm making a guess, guys. That's what that's what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and do that and see how damn close I was. Oh, no. So as it turns out, I actually can't get in behind this. Oh, wait, I can get behind there. Can I get behind here? Yes, I can. I don't think I can sneak into this area, though. Let's try like the top top is corner. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'll be able to upgrade this. I'm actually holding my button down. Wow, that kind of sucks. Not a big deal, though. It's not Alpha 16. I don't have to put a land claim down do a whole bunch of bullshit. Uh, there's no fuel, nothing in it. Good. All I have to do is just wrench it down and then put it back down. Not a hard thing to do. Okay, so it appears it is the same story for these workstations as well. Oh, oh, no, I upgraded this block here. Uh, so I'm going to pull this one out here. We're good to go with this one. Pick that sucker up and then we'll do the blocks in behind it. Um, now, these here, these little workstations, I don't really bang those down with... Um, the only thing I really break down to pick up is the forges just because the forges take forever but even with my skills now i think i can like close to one shot a forge and i really don't want to risk that and why did i put that there that is not equal okay try this again okay so interesting enough this corner here was actually made out of wood we'll go ahead and fill that in with frames now uh but the blocks above it actually aren't i wonder what was here i can't remember um oh you know what Oh, okay, this is the hallway in the gift shop. The gift shop, I think, was over here. Maybe that's why it's like that. Maybe it needed some sort of support or something. Um, I don't know. I've actually recently came across this in my PC playthrough, and I'm like, whoa. This building is so weird when it has all of its innards. Because we took all the innards out, and it's completely naked on the inside. Oh, I did the inevitable. I accidentally just upgraded a redwood block. I really wish these blocks didn't upgrade. I wish they were just a decoration block. Because that's all they are, right? Like, who who, who builds redwood uh, for, like, support, right? Nobody does that. Well, I bet there are people who do it. But it's not a very smart thing to do. They can smash through it pretty easy. It's just one level of wood, right? Um, but we are getting pretty close to getting this done, guys. And we still have, if I open up my inventory correctly, um, just over 2,000. 2,120 cement left. So, yeah, we have more than enough, I think, to finish this side. Awesome. 
Oh no, I accidentally upgraded the roof as well here too. Good thing I'm not keeping that ceiling. That would have sucked. I would have been like, oh damn. Because we can't make that block. We can't make that block at all. Damn. Uh, the, the nail gun's really, really good for upgrading stuff, but it upgrades too fast sometimes and gets out of control. Uh, but there we go. We got the whole freaking wall done. So I think we're actually done um, upgrading. Maybe I'll go this way. Um, Upgrading our base here all around the bottom of the outside sweet. So we got the bottom done We just have one two three four. I'm getting the hiccups for some reason as well here, too I might actually have to take a break from recording and go and maybe eat or do something to get rid of them Oh my god, those things drive me nuts But yeah, we got some forges going as well here too guys, which reminds me as well I should probably take the cement out um, But which also reminds me we need to get some more forges going so I'm gonna grab the clay that we do have and some stone and some supplies and stuff and we're gonna make up like a whole slew of forges and go and get some forges uh, put down because we're, we're getting pretty close to um, using up all our cement and we're gonna have to wait a while again until we have some more but I'd rather have like 10 forges going so we can make a shitload of cement and just call it a day right um, look at the supplies we have here holy crap I'm thirsty as well okay I'm gonna have to grab gonna have to grab a drink probably grab something to eat no 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 Jesus me and my own body right now are driving me nuts oh look at that just over a thousand six thousand stack of iron plus one nicely done but yeah i'm gonna go ahead um uh, looking for sand oh we have sand over there that's right sand's over there okay cool so i'm gonna get that shit together and we'll start making ourselves some forges here There we go another 1400 mix or some concrete wow so it's cement mix when it's in the powder and it's concrete when it's done like this i gotta remember that concrete mix and what do they officially call that stuff the cement mix we'll check that out i need to go over the other storage anyways here uh, so we only need one stack of stone. Oh, hate it when I do that. Oops, I still have all my nitrate on me. God damn, look at that. Stupid me. Um, what it is is I go to back up sometimes and I accidentally end up pressing the L3 like to back up and then it just moves everything into my inventory. I gotta I gotta get a little more finessed I think with my controls. I do that more often than you guys think. It just usually happens not on recording. Um, anywho, let's get together here. We should have a lot of stuff. We need pipes. We need all of that crap. All right, we'll put all your um, actual workbenches to use here. We're going to go ahead and turn these into bellows. Now, these weren't actually in my supplies chests or in the um, the forgeable because after a while when these things stock up, I just end up forging them, right? Because they do uh, forge into the forge well. Ugh. That was hard to say. Okay, so we're going to make some bellows here. I'm going to make about 10 of these suckers, and apparently we don't have any wood on us. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to go grab those wood. I'll start six in one bench and four in the other, and then we'll start making our um, forges as well. So fun fact here, guys. Um, it takes... Let's go look here. I think I have... Um, oh crap. So it takes it takes 30 seconds anyways to loot a bellows um, But it only takes 23 seconds to make the forge So a part of the forge takes longer to make than the entire device itself I find that a little funny don't know why I wanted to share that but that's a little off balance and holy crap Yep, okay. I get it. I get it. I'll grab a drink. Jesus Christ my character um, I, It's bad guys like honestly I've gotten to the point where I totally zone out and I just, I don't listen to her complaining, right? Because, I mean, I've had a few bad girlfriends and, you know what? Even even a little bit of a naggy family can do that to you as well. I've just got really good at, like, zoning things out that annoy the crap out of me. Like, um, someone making a noise repetitively. And that's what she does. I wish it was just a thing that came up to say, hey, you need a drink up in the corner here um it does come up every once in a while that says hey you're thirsty but i still miss that as well anyways whatever let's make some forges okay so we got all of our supplies going on here um this concrete mix cobblestone rocks i'm gonna put that shit away and what we gotta do now is we actually gotta um oops where the hell did that come from uh we i gotta put this stuff away and how much wood do we have i may go out and actually get ourselves some more wood yeah, well, we have 6,000. You know what? That's good enough for now. I can go at another time and grab a whole stock, a stockpile of wood. So when we get there, I'll make some storage containers. We'll have 10 forges. We'll have some clay. I should actually just literally fill up my inventory with all of this crap. Because I'm going to just burn down these forges for what they have now. And then leave them. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. We'll probably end up keeping them here anyways. Um, it'll give me an excuse to get rid of that. Not really rid of it, but it is what it is. All right, guys. Um, shit. Okay. 
I'm gonna have to put one of these stacks of um, concrete away here. Ooh, actually, we don't need those rebar frames. I'll put the rebar frames away. All right, anyways, I'm gonna go down that tunnel, guys, and we'll start putting these forges down. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna just make sure there's no zombies hanging around our base here. We're gonna clear it out, and then we'll head over to uh, put those forges down, because I swear I heard a screamer on the overnight, but she may have killed herself running into spikes over time. And that is exactly what I think she's doing. This is actually very effective for the wandering zombies. And the screamer is wandering through here. And I don't seem to be getting caught at it as much as the other zombies. And I'm thinking too, the other uh, horde knight that we saw, I was like, why are the spiders going to these two pillars? The only two pillars that I didn't put spikes on? It's probably actually for that exact reason. It's because there wasn't spikes or anything blocking them from climbing up and down. So we're going to try putting spikes literally on every pillar that's inside this building here for next horde night if i remember well we got a couple wandering over here i don't know where these guys came from uh they may be natural spawns that just happen to both get stuck in the same spot um but i holy shit look at that i actually missed them there we go lay the fuck down and of course i have a bleed on as well here too i didn't think i was going to be taking on any zombies whatever look at that we get to use the first aid kit i have not used one of those in such a long time but sega oh shit i have to actually get used to swinging this thing again i'm a little off with it i used to be so good with this weapon ah there we go screw you bloated walker let's see what this departed woman has oh a gun sick okay uh what can i get rid of here fuck we need everything we have oh uh, uh you know what whatever she can just stay there. If I remember to pick it up, I'll come back for it. I don't feel like dicking around. Okay, so we do have this shortcut as well here too. Oh, I should have taken my mini bike. Ah, whatever. I'll go for a run. It's not that far down in the tunnel. All right, and we're here, guys, and that means it's time to actually start placing some of this shit down. Uh, so how wide is this? One, two, three, four. Maybe I should just make this ten wide. Oh, you know what? No, it, it, it doesn't even matter. As long as this is one off to the side, we are good to go because I'm going to make that tunnel wider. So, yeah, look at this. So much forge, so much to place down. I'm going to get these going right away here, too. I'm going to actually start splitting up some wood and getting these forges going. How long will this burn for? 124 minutes. And we can split the stack into that six times. Ooh, that might not be enough to fire up all these forges, but that is a-OK, -okay, because we probably actually don't have enough supplies to do it anyways. Um, but these don't require any special tools or anything to make some mint, so I can just fire them up, forget about it, and come back to them once they're uh, once they're full up here. There we go. Another two hours on that sucker. It'll burn a lot of that in. Holy crap, guys. We are going to start pumping out some quality building in these episodes now. No more dicking around. Originally, I had put the forges in the building because I was like, fuck it, we'll take on the screamers. But honestly, with this, like, 10 forges going going at the same time you're doing more repair work to your building than you're actually making or, or collecting right so there, there is an actual limit but whatever it is what it is let's get these suckers going holy crap i only had enough to fill up these forges that's a good sign though that's a very good sign oh you know what i'm gonna put another row of forges in here we'll just go with rows of forges that works oh no i fucked up a forge damn it i hate it when i do that um when you're like able to just slightly place a block above another block although there's not a block for it to sit on that can get frustrating so we did actually lose a whole forge which isn't that big of a deal uh so i can just go ahead and actually just put it right here in the corner i'm gonna have to make this one one wider anyways and all the supplies going into digging this shit will go into these forges so there we go bam good to go and we also need storage so i think i'm gonna just actually throw my storage right in here there we go right in this hole in here and eventually we'll make an iron one, a stone one, a sand one, all that bullshit, right? Um, you know what? The one I use to make, um, to make like uh, ammo and crap, I think I'll keep that one at base because it's nice and close and I can make my ammo there. And then the rest of them can come down here. Like, look at that. We already have full four, 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 four forges all fired up so i'm gonna go back and fill up my inventory with the rest of our stock here all right there we go so i got everything sorted out uh the rest of my supplies that i'm gonna bring with me are in my inventory we're actually uh, now that i'm forging those all into the forges like that uh we actually don't have that much so this is almost the last of our stone here uh is that body over there it is you know what i should actually go and grab that handgun off that body over there and then i'll just drop right on down and we will get those forges fired up 
There we go. So almost all the forges are going, which is pretty damn good. We're going full blast here. Um, but we are out of wood and we are running out of stone. But mission accomplished, right? Like, look how many forges I have going. Uh, this one here, I think I'm going to use... Uh, you know what? I'm going to start... That's what we'll do. Um, this one here is going to be our iron and our clay. So I'm going to start throwing some iron and clay into this bastard and get this sucker going as well, too. If I do forget my anvil, I'll just come and make one. Anvils aren't expensive to make, and you can just make it right in the forge anyway. So not a big deal. I'm not sure why I was too worried about that sucker. But there we go. All the forges running for two hours here. This one's actually, um, it's already forged some stone into it. How much cement can we make right off the bat? Let's see. Let's check that sucker. Uh, 178. Yeah, barely anything, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to go up and I'm actually going to have to find a nice wooded area and we are going to go and grab some wood and we're also going to grab some clay as well too. So we'll probably hop on a mini bike and head down south and uh, head up the forest. Well, that definitely sounds like a screamer. I can actually see her walking and somehow she actually did not spot. Oh, no, I got the headshot off one second too late and always double tap here, guys. Well, looks like I'll be going down and smashing a few heads before we head south here uh, because I do want to get some zombie kills in. Oh, shit. We got ourselves a spider. What's oh shit. We got ourselves a cop here as well, too. You know what? That's okay, though, because coppers, you ain't much when it comes to my sniper rifle. There you go, right in the face. How do you like that? Come at me, bro. Just pump some bullets into them. Nice. Let's see if this sucker actually dropped a weapon for us. Now, we can't get the, the cops on Horde Knights. Oh, my God. Four Magnum rounds. Nine, um, whatever that is. Four 9mm rounds. Sawed off shotgun. And two shotgun shells. Holy crap. I should actually take on more Screamers so that we get more cops, so we can get more full drops as well here too. I think that would be a really, really good idea. Okay, anyways, I'm going to hop on my mini bike here, guys, and we're going to take off south. I think it was, it looked like it was just these few zombies, uh, so not too big of a deal. Well, nope, I was wrong. I came over here to search the Screamer, and there's a couple zombies derping the fuck out over here. There you go. Ooh, I like that. That was satisfying against the uh, the spider. Stupid freaking spider. All right. Anyways, I'm trying to get to my bike. Okay, here we go. We're headed off south. And look at that, guys. There's an airdrop, actually. It's 12.15. Okay. Uh, there's an airdrop, actually, dropping right almost in front of me. I wonder if that one is actually going to hit land. It almost looks like it are pretty damn close. Wow, that zombie body we just passed has been there since, I think, the beginning of this series. That's awesome. Nope, look at that. It actually ended up landing right in the middle of the lake. That is highly unfortunate. It's kind of fun, though, watching them land. What happens when it hits a water? I've never... Oh, oh, the parachute just disappears, and it appears to actually... Oh, there it goes. It's sinking now. Wow, that's crazy looking. Cool. Anyways, let's go guys and get ourselves some wooden clay. Well, it's not like we had to go far guys literally like we're literally right here uh, There's actually oh, you know what I should hit that up again that military camp over there I'm gonna have to remember don't wander too close to it while gathering resources um, But we should hit up that sucker again like there's munitions boxes and safes and stuff in there and I'm or a gun safe I'm pretty sure there's a gun safe in there um, It's a nice easy loot easy loot and guaranteed that sucker is uh, relootable because it's been forever Originally, what I wanted to do with that place is actually turn it into my original mine where I'd be going to get different things, right? But fortunately, it turns out we haven't had to do that yet for any resource. And oh, look at this. It's a fucking shopping cart all the way out here. And I don't even have my wrench with me. Oh, that's 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 cool. Kind of random shopping cart out in the middle of the environment. It's almost like it's Metro. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Okay, so how much wood did we get there? Just talking to you guys, I've already gotten 1800 wood. So this shouldn't take too long. Uh, we got a nice little clay deposit here as well, too, that I can grab from. Looks like there might be one over here. Yep, there's another clay deposit here. There's just there's clay all over the place. This is actually really, really close to that. So I'm going to try to stay out of there. If I blow myself up with a mine this episode, just being mindless, um, I don't know. That would just really suck. What I'm also going to do as well, too, while I'm out doing this, I may as well go for everything, right? Go for broke or don't go at all. Um, these little um, outcroppings of stone, fucking awesome to get shit from. Like, I, I always say this, guys, but these things here produce a hell of a lot better 
than grinding through the ground. Like, look at that. 99 small stone, a little bit of nitrate, some iron. Um, well, that's literally all we got. But whatever. It's, it's better than nothing, right? Okay, so I'm going to do those. I'm going to grab trees. And we're still looking for clay. I think I can do the clay the last. Because then I'll be sitting in one spot and possibly get a screamer anyways. Holy crap, so um, a mine just went off, right? And I'm like, what the fuck? I look over there and there's zombies wandering around. So I bet we had a wandering horde kind of come through there. Either that or the zombies spawned back in. But yeah, we definitely got some attention there. This scared the crap out of me too. I thought I had stepped on the landmine, but thank God. I didn't. I was all the way over here. Um, there is a lot of clay right there. That's a huge clay spot. But holy shit, there goes another one. Look at that. I can see shit flying all over the place. Good, good guys. Take out those fucking landmines. Do me a favor. Oh, look at this. Resources on the surface. Let's take some of that too. Nitrate. Not that we need it, but I'll take it. Uh, so there's only a few trees left in this little area. I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab a couple more trees. We got one and a half stacks of woods going on so far. Like I said, it doesn't take long to collect wood. And this is why I don't bother with trees, guys. I don't, I don't like it. I just don't like a whole bunch of random trees or lined up trees around my base. I, I don't know what it is. It just doesn't feel natural to me. In a survival game, like farming kind of makes sense, right? But if you go around and you cut down all the trees in your area, there shouldn't be trees there that are farmable again for another 20, 30, 40 years, right? Um, to, for a couple days cycle to get a brand new tree. I don't know. I've just never been a fan of it. And that's, that's um, frankly, guys, why I don't do it. I hate tree farms. I just absolutely hate them. Go out, explore. Get your ass off your property. Get off my property or yours. And go out and explore, right? Because you'll find new things, you know. You never know what you'll find on the ground. But, um, yeah. Looks like I have a little bit of work still ahead of me, guys. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have everything. That, um, let's get that on my bar here and stop making noise. I got everything I need here. Uh, we got, in total, plant fibers too. I'm just throwing. Oh, wait. You know what? I should keep those plant fibers because we were going to do the Horde Knight on top of hay bales last um, season. But then an update came out so fast I didn't have a chance to do it. But we have almost three full stacks of wood. Uh, we have a little bit of stone, a little bit of odds and ends, some dirt, some iron, a little bit of sand, that kind of crap. You guys know how that is. 125 lead. Woo! And we also have almost two stacks of clay. Now, I went and got a lot of clay as well, too. Um, because of the fact... Yeah, I'm going to get my handgun out here. Here we go. Um... Because of the fact that I need to make a lot of brick stuff for the outside of the build. I forgot about this. We're going to need a lot of clay. Um, and we're going to dedicate one of those forges just to making brick stuff. So I'm going to fill up one of those forges with clay and stone. And then that one will be dedicated to brick. So it looks like when I get back, I should probably make another forge here. I'm looking for landmines so I don't step on the fucking things. There's one up there. Oh, shit. If I, those things are coming at me while I'm doing this. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. You're helping me out. All right, let's run out here. I fucking hate these places. I love them, but I hate them at the same time. They are so dangerous. All right, especially when it's like, when it's freaking muggy and crap like this and I can't see through the damn rain. I wish you could shoot these fucking things. I don't think you can shoot them anymore. I think that's a real... Oh, you can shoot them. Was it in Alpha 16 that they changed this? Okay, well, fuck that. I can just shoot the fucking things, and then we'll just walk right through here like it ain't no thing. Here we go. There's one there, and there's one right by that bird's nest that I totally would have missed because I would have been looking at the bird's nest. Okay, uh, I wonder. Okay, I don't have any um, frames on me, but it looks like our way in here is clear, and we're running. Ah, sweet. Okay, there we go. Fucking hate landmines. Those things are so OP. Uh, looks like this guy over here walked across uh, some some spikes or something he's missing his leg and i'm not entirely sure how because i don't think he got hit by a landmine i mean that should one shot these guys here as well too seriously just die jesus christ there we go okay awesome holy crap hello didn't expect to see you standing right there i need to stop using my gun i need to save my ammo for hard nights <laughs> it's not, it's not like we're in a big need of it at all but jesus christ holy crap okay any more of you motherfuckers kicking around oh there's one over there okay we'll take her out and then we should be good to go for loot there's not much in here that i need like just maybe a munitions box and a few other things so yeah there we go search these zombies up search the boxes and we should be good to go home guys 
Oh, look at this. This full bob gave us some bullets. So that's really nice. Ooh, we got some nerdy glasses going on. I'll never use those and probably actually end up throwing them out. But I swear there's a gun safe in here. I haven't quite looked around yet. Am I going nuts? Oh, no, there's a munitions box in here. Okay, my bad. Hopefully this will actually give us some good ammo. These things are huge and they take forever to open. One rocket. Um, I used to sell those suckers to the trader, but I'm actually thinking I'm going to be holding on to those little bastards for now. All right, there we go, guys. Uh, that's pretty much it for here. I don't think there is actually much else. Oh! Durr! Munitions box right in the corner here. I forgot about this one. They try to hide it all sneaky, but they didn't do a very good job because you can see the corners of it. Ah, uh, three ammo. Okay, whatever. Three ammo is it is. That'll actually save me in the long run. I should actually have a whole bunch of those by the time we're done. Holy crap, zombie remains? Where'd these suckers come from? Oh, you know what it was? These are here from last time. I didn't break them down. I love how zombie bodies stay like that. It's a little awkward in my opinion, but whatever. Like I said, it is what it is. All right, so let's blow this popsicle stand. I almost went out the way that I didn't go in. I want to go out the way I went in. Ah, here we go. Right here, there's a landmine there. There's a landmine there. Actually, this is not the way we came in. Which way did we come in? Oh, well, doesn't matter. Um, can I take out... Taking out these landmines with a handgun is actually kind of fun. I'm gonna go on top of here and we're gonna we're gonna try to aim at some of those suckers. You know what? Fuck it. Let's waste some bullets here, guys. Now let's make sure I get nice and zoomed in on that because I fucking aiming, I swear. What? Seriously? There we go. There's one. And I do believe there is another one right over here somewhere. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'm lying to myself. Uh oh, there's one right there. Okay. Oops, shit. Okay, stop doing that. Get on the wall. Stop falling off. Ah, there it is. It's right there. Okay, so um, I'm not going to use my sniper rifle. I don't think it can hit me from here. Nope, we're good. <laughs> All right, search the zombie, of course. I think this one blew up on its own accord. Uh, you know, here we go. Let's just get the fuck out of there and see if we can't take aim at some of these landmines. This is so much fun. Uh, this area is going to have so much heat from these explosions. Stuff like landmines, rockets, um, just explode. Oh, shit, there's one right there, and I'm just fucking dicking around. Landmines, explosives, and everything, guys, add to your heat map. So don't be surprised if you're, like, looting one of these and a whole bunch of these go off that you end up with a screamer. Actually, one of my PC playthroughs, I think it was Alpha 15, I learned that lesson the hard way um, because I had an animal wander across the landmines blow up and then had an animal corpse and some landmines going off um by the time morning came around there was zombies everywhere it's terrifying me trying to hide in the small little freaking camp made out of um cloth from a whole bunch of screamers and screamer hordes it was madness but anyways guys time to go back home here i am happy with our haul all right so we're back home here and it looks like our forges have actually um wound down a little bit here uh so i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna get these ones going too because i, I want to get them emptied out right i guess i could just pick them up and move them to the other place as well too that's not that big of a deal uh and here we are we're gonna go with 1848 i have a whole bunch of crap on me oh look at that we have a box right here that i can throw the sand in and make myself some room damn it stupid brass oh can of dog food why the fuck was I saving that? That wasn't a very smart move. Um, we also got to get the forged steel out of here, too. We're actually starting to get some buffer on steel again, uh, which feels really good. Okay, we have 10 iron, 9,820 clay. Damn, that's a lot of clay in there. Shit. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm actually going to go ahead. We're going to forge some stone in, into this one. And then we're going to come back to it and make brick out of it. Because that'll get rid of the um, of the clay pretty fast. I don't really want to just like forge the clay out of it. That's a little bit of a waste of time. Um, but if we take a look at our brick blocks here. Oh, here we go. Uh, they take 60 clay. Oh, wait. Decayed brick? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. The clay roof ramps. The clay ramps, actually, the roof stuff actually takes less clay. I did not know that at all. That's kind of cool. Maybe we should incorporate that with the build. I don't know. But anyways, um, if we take a look at bricks here, there's 60 clay and only 10 stone. So there are a lot more clay than they are stone. And clay is actually easier to gather anyways than stone is. Uh, so it's not that big of a deal. But what I'm going to do here is get, get some of these going. 
just so I remember. Oh shit, we actually don't need any solid brick blocks. What we need is brick plates so we can plate the outside of the building. And then we need the angled brick as well too, the brick ramp, because I need to put these in all the corners and stuff because you can't put the plate on like if you have a corner let's say like right here right and you need to plate it if you put a brick plate on this side you won't be able to put a brick plate on that side so corners what i like to do with them in that case is just put a ramp in that way the corners line up all nice nice right and it kind of gives the building a little bit more shape as well here too um, but without further ado i'm gonna go and we're gonna um get rid of this inventory and then run down to the forge and drop some stuff off and get more stuff going so I decided here, when I do run to the forge, it'll take me a few extra um, seconds to do it this way. It's not like it's far. But I thought on top of that too, you know, for all the effort of getting off the mini bike, getting it up the thing, driving it back and forth, making sure I'm not falling into this. Um, and on top of that, the 6% damage it takes when it hits the ground. I don't think it's worth coming up and down just for the forge because even the run itself is only like 60 seconds. That's not a big deal. That's how long it takes to load into my map now on the PS4 Pro. If you guys could actually do me a huge favor count how long it takes for you to load seven days to die on your regular ps4 i'm pretty sure there is a load time difference between the two units it makes sense especially if you're using like the boost mode if you have ps4 pro i don't know why you wouldn't um but anyways yeah guys let me know if uh, on your regular ps4 how long that takes i can't test that anymore i actually traded in my regular ps4 uh when this one came out but holy shit we have like no resources here okay uh which one am i going to turn into brick this one right here right in the front this one will officially be our brick house. That's what I'm going to call this one here, our brick house. Um, so all this wood here, I'm going to leave um, two stacks in behind or one and a half stacks. Actually, you know what? We'll leave two stacks. So we have a lot to burn and we'll leave a one and a half stacks here behind. Okay, awesome. Look at all them supplies, guys. Um, these I'm going to bring back because um, I'm going to let these stack up. If we do get too much, I will break them down. But as you can tell, like we still have a lot of iron as well. Um, we're just running low on stone because we threw it all into these forges here. Uh, so I'm going to get these suckers going here too. We might be able to actually make a decent amount of cement. There we go, 802 in that one. So this one must be around 1,000 now. 974, nice. See how much faster it's going to be to make cement and stuff? And on top of that, we have three um, cement makers as well. So concrete man. <sighs> Machines. The machines that make the stuff, we have many of those as well. Oh, look at this. Yeah, so when we come back here, we'll have almost 6,000, uh, probably about 5,000 cement ready to go. And how many minutes? 15 minutes, we'll have that much cement. So yeah, we're, we're looking good here now, guys. We are golden. So I'm sitting here looking, and this empty bob is sitting here as well, too. So I'm going to try another trick, and... Oh, do we have a wandering horde? Oh, cool. Um, oh, this must be a feral one because it actually stopped. It stopped. Okay, this would be real quiet like we're hunting wabbits and blow the fucking head off this this bitch. Oh, shit. Completely missed. <laughs> wow. Durr. Okay, let's try that again. There I go. Target practice. I love the sniper rifle. I just, I really fish, wish it fixed the aiming on console. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to put one in him uh, just to see if he respawns as well too. He should respawn at about the same time the, um, the safe respawns in our building here. What are you doing over there, guy? Look at this method. Dude, there's a door literally two blocks away from you. And nope, you're just going to sit there and derp out in the ground and make me aim at your head a million times. All right, let's see if we can do this here, guys. This is target practice 101. This is like the, literally the hardest target to hit in the head. Oh, missed. All right, we got to get that timing. I think you can, like he doesn't even have a specific pattern, right? Like it's, it's all random. So it's really hard to tell when his head's going to be up there. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Damn it! <laughs> oh my god! I could, could just like go down there. Or even if you hit them in the body, they seem to stop doing that. Um, but I kind of want to pick this guy's head off while he's doing this stupid shit. Oh wow, that one was way off. Nope, that one was way off too. This guy has no idea what's going on right now. He's like, man, I'm just looking for my fix. Fuck, I can't hit this motherfucker. So you know what, dude? You're getting the handgun. Fuck you. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. There we go, we got rid of him. Is there another one down here? There must be a wandering horde that got stuck. I don't know. This is kind of weird, actually. Okay, let's go and get some shit done here. Actually, guys, oh my god. I'm looking at my recording time, and unfortunately, I am once again 
out of time for this episode here, guys. I would love to make three-hour episodes um, like every three days, right? But we got to be realistic here. Nobody's going to watch a three-hour episode. That's absolutely insane. For some reason, even a half-hour episode, even an hour episode, a lot of people won't watch it because it's AKA too long. Although they don't realize the concept that if something's too long, you could always start watching it stop watching it and then start watching it again when you get more time right like if you like half hour episodes take my hour long episodes i release and split them in two you know what i mean like it's silly to expect me to split up episodes every 20 minutes because you only like a 20 minute episode there's five 20 minute episodes five whatever there's enough episodes in an hour 60 okay yeah that's wow i'm like doing way off math here there's uh four no not four there's three 20 minute episodes in an hour so there you go if you like 20 minute episode watch 20 minutes come back pretend like i'm saying hi again that's all the difference there is anyways guys have a good one always back up those game saves and i shall see you in the next episode stay classy Peace out, enjoy your foraging.